Hello, my friends. This is the Everyday Prepper channel. Today's topic is resources and documentation. Now, we all have documents that we want to protect. It could be insurance policies, uh, titles or deeds to property. We have a whole litany of things that could be associated with our identity. Uh, it could be uh, pictures and things that are important to us. We have documents, typically everyone does, and we want to keep them safe. We also have other means of uh, procuring future resources, maybe through cash or money, uh, depending on where you live. You may want to have uh, your national currency and maybe some currency from uh, the surrounding countries in case you ever were forced to egress that far. You may also be into precious metals, whatever it is that you have a value that's commonly accepted, then you may want to protect that, obviously. And the sad point of fact, though, is that a lot of people don't have the proper means of securing their documents and these resources that we speak of here today. So the question is, is how do we secure these documents and resources? Um, it's pretty obvious that we need a level or levels, really, of tiered security. And this is not that difficult. Uh, you just do not want people uh, to see yourself as an easy target. Uh, so you would have a layered system, uh, maybe starting out with perimeter security uh, and then home security. And but we, before we get into all that, though, just be mindful of keeping things to yourself. Uh, there is no benefit to go around to your neighbors and gloat about uh, your ability to save a thousand dollars in cash for an emergency fund that you keep under your mattress. But in terms of the actual security, uh, having an outer fence uh, and a gate and maybe a dog in that yard that patrols, uh, maybe you have cameras and motion alarms and various types of lighting that is activated by motion as well, uh, could really go quite far on deterring and keeping people out. Uh, just keeping people from actually coming right up to your front door. So that's the first step is deterrence. Number two, the home itself needs to be, you know, fortified and reinforced. You need a decent door. You need a deadbolt on your door. You need to lock your door when you're not at home and when you sleep. Uh, you need to have a security system for most people. Uh, you definitely need other options, reinforced windows, and, and it goes on and on. But let's say that someone does uh, compromise your home security and they're in your home now. You still want them to work uh, for whatever they're trying to do, uh, to cause you the pain and suffering of them trying to steal what is yours or to destroy your documents or uh, to manipulate your life. And so, um, you know, people that are criminals, they don't care about you. Uh, they're very selfish individuals. And they're known to be very destructive to try to get what they want. And so even though they probably have no interest in your personal documents, they may want other things that may be in a so-called safe or uh, secure location. So if you have a safe, which I recommend, have uh, a safe that's actually going to really repel and give good resistance, not some cheap $100 safe at Walmart. Uh, that's really not going to be good unless you use that as a decoy safe. Now, that's a good idea. Now, even if you get a really nice safe, I still wouldn't put everything I own of value in that safe because if it was ever compromised, which... There is no such thing as a safe that's 100% efficient at keeping everyone out. You would have a total loss. So it's good to have several locations, maybe one off-site of the homestead uh, and maybe several within the home or on the homestead. But just like if you diversify resources and documents among safes in your home, you can also look at hiding places to diversify things in plain sight. Uh, these can be very effective. Uh, just don't forget where you put things <laughs> because I've known a lot of people who have hid things in ceilings and walls and basements in an attic or something and uh, they forget they put it there. So you have to have a way to remind yourself of where your things are. Um, as always, hey, thanks for coming along. If you have any further information or thoughts um, about this, feel free to share that. Um, don't forget though, there's a lot of things that we haven't really talked about. Um, in terms of uh, maybe like a, a burial vault outside. There's a lot of other ways to secure your goods. Uh, but this is just a primer to start thinking about 
how important it really is uh, to safeguard our backup resources and important documents because on a homestead, sometimes we're more vulnerable because we're removed uh, from uh, help, outside help, uh, in a way that um, can be uh, a bit difficult to overcome. So we have to have sometimes a higher level of security and awareness uh, to counter this. Uh, I can tell you for a fact that like on my street, um, in the years that I've lived here, I've never seen the police ever come out on my road. And I'm not saying that they don't patrol, but I've just never seen it. And so sometimes you live in a, in a neighborhood that's so safe that it can give you the illusion of security and safety when there's always that potential uh, for things to go south real quick. Anyways, thanks again. I'll catch you later.